Hello and welcome to this uh, brief tutorial. We were asked to create uh, this. Uh, sorry, no. Yeah, that's it. We were uh, asked to create this uh, feedback form. Now, Moodle already provides certain feedback form functionality, uh, particularly with uh, like at scales. But uh, in this case, they wanted average points and uh, a total summary average. Now, this is something that is not uh, there out of the box. So, uh, we have added that. And this is the, this tutorial will basically guide you. It's already set up how you can add this to your system. To, a, to, a, ever, to any course that you want to add it to. Now, as you can see, that we are logged in as Sri Shubhankar Shamanto uh, because he is a manager in the course. Because this being a course feedback, the faculty members are not allowed, not permitted to even look at the feedback that is given. So, this is something that has to be done by uh, either site managers or course, uh, course site managers. So let's see how we can do what how we can do it. So let's pick up any course or something like say statistics for management. Uh, this is a term one course. So first thing we do is we turn editing on. Okay, and uh, we can add now where we want to add depends on how how the whole thing is structured. Now for the purpose of demonstration we are going to add it here so add uh, the add activity or resource pop-up uh, pop-up window comes up this is called MDI Murshidabad uh, feedback form add that there it is it's adding a new MDI Murshidabad form so Let's do something like this course feedback form for this is SOF and uh, just so that we can identify which batch this is coming from we are going to mention the batch code. Now just copy this, uh, keep it in your clipboard because we will be needing it in just in a few minutes. Now, with this in hand, uh, availability, now uh, depending on the time that you want to set, any time when, you, when, this, when this activity should be available, till any time that should be available, please feel free to set it uh, as it is. If you do not set either of it, then once it is published, this feedback activity will be online. The next option is response option. This is important and this needs to be set up a little diligently. Uh, we want only one response, so respond once. Uh, we were instructed by the Moodle coordinator that this should be anonymous, so we are not going to track the username. Students can view all responses, no, we don't want that, so it will set to never. Send submission, this is up. Uh, up to you what you want but uh, we're leaving it now because it's not really that important save and resume answers uh, fine we'll just give it yes you can give it no it doesn't really uh, make much of a difference except that with uh, this option enabled you'll be able to uh, user a student will be able to like uh, save it and then come back and finish the feedback so that's about it Allow branching question. No, there are no branch scope of branching questions here. Uh, auto number pages and questions. No, do not auto number. Uh, no progress back to show. There is no grade to be added. Content options. Yeah. So here, this is this is critical. We are not going to use create new, although this is selected by default. We have already created a template, and this is what we are going to use. So use this template template is almost all already completely set up we'll just see in a moment what what it is done so this is fine uh, competencies do nothing yeah upon activity completion do nothing that's fine as well save and return to course okay now 
the first thing we need to do is turn editing off and uh, see this the icon has come up course feedback form let's go into here now remember we are still logged in as uh, the manager first things first edit settings okay so course is fine uh, this is fine availability remember what we just said response options yes so so then return just want to check the advanced settings once more advanced settings yeah. now here in advanced setting we need to remember we kept it on the clipboard we just want to have the add it back again once more and that's about it save and return okay now if you want to see the questions that are there already the questions are already here so you can launch the preview panel so these are the seven questions that uh, MDI Murshidabad is using. So what happens is that from poor to excellent, it's a standard Likert scale. You just select the radio button and you can just save it or you can send it. So that's it. That's all there is to, set, uh, there is to this setup. Uh, nothing much else and uh, we will see how it works uh, for a student mm. and I said the teachers won't have any permissions here so let's see how that works and just remember this is statistics for management statistics for management so let's see log uh, this is reset all this is fine it's all fine just let's check if the name is there if the name is there save and return and let's log out now remember that as a manager we were able to see this so we logged out we log back in as admin because we need, we need the admin account admin of course being the super users can see all of it so nothing much to that let's see what about the teachers so users enrolled users match roles and um, teachers apply filter okay Dr. Amrita Sengupta is the faculty in charge of this particular course. So let's log in as the teacher. Ah, as you can see, the teacher does not even get to see the option. However, now let's do the same thing as a student. Let's see what the student gets to see. So again, we need to log back in as admin. Uh, we need to find a student user. For student user, we don't really need to do all that uh, homework. So you can just use any of the students put here at random. Login as Shubhankar. Continue. This is Shubhankar. The students gets to see the feedback form. Now, what does the student see? Course feedback form of SOF, PGPM 2020-2022, give you feedback. So these are the options. Uh, Shubhankar can choose to give feedback. Now suppose you leave it incomplete, you click submit. It will tell you that you have to fill in all of this. These are highlighted as you can see, it's also written out here. Please check the seven radio all seven radio button. So we done submit feedback. Okay. 
student will be able to see his or her own first thing. That's it. Nothing else. Okay? Student doesn't get to see anything more. You can just get to see your response. Now let's log out of here. Let's log back in as admin because we need to switch back as Sushamonto because it's the manager who has to do the next step. So we are assuming that uh, all the, feed, uh, the, the feedback uh, time window has gone past and that uh, all the feedback that has been uh, that is coming is already there in the system. So now the manager or the site admin wants to go in and see what is there and uh, obviously download it, print it, do whatever they need to do with it for the process it. So you are logged in as Shunamka Shamanto. Right. And here is the feedback form. View all responses. Just click on view all responses. This is the list of responses and this is total course average if we had more number of responses that would show here and uh, the number of students would uh, accordingly go up and the average would be balanced accordingly if we want we can always take a nice print out of this it comes out very nicely or uh, we can download the data now when, it, when we want to download the data, uh, we would want to use a Microsoft Excel or a, a PDF document format. So let's first see the PDF document format and see how it, is, how it comes through. So, yeah. There it is. So the average is totaled against columns and uh, the overall average is here. So that's the picture for PDF. Uh, in my opinion, if it's PDF that you're after, just use this and print it out. It'll be so much better. Okay. So like uh, you just do control P here save as pdf it will be two pages so let's make it landscape landscape uh, becomes still it's still two pages more settings uh, do we need to no we don't need to do anything it's all fine and dandy um, just a little so if we can perhaps run it down a bit to let's say 90% of the original, I think that should be the trick. Um, no. So like 85%, 85% is still not good enough, 80%. Okay, uh, margins, let's make it a minimum margin. Um, so oh, do we need anything? Let's see, I don't think so. Oh, well. Since it's just one page, uh, we can just dump the second page and just say page one. But give us only page one. We don't want the second page. So here is this, save. it or uh, of course I said uh, you can do the download and Excel download as Excel so go to downloads
think I have a bit of a net connection issue here. Uh, okay. So I'll take care of it in a bit. So basically it's done the same way and uh, that's how the whole thing works.